um, when, you, when you get to the scene, what did you guys see? Was it heavy smoke, heavy fire, um, and what kind of problems did that present for you? The fire was essentially, it was it was coming all the way across the street. You can see the smoke in the background, how it's, it's drifting across the street. So it's high wind, so it's a wind-driven fire. The entire street was, was fire. The building was well involved, so it, was, it wasn't just smoke. There was a lot of a lot of fire going across the street. You mentioned the wind and the cold. Did that also play a part for you guys? Absolutely. So that affects if, you, if you're trying to wash your car and on a windy day, where does the water go? They're everywhere but where you want it to go. So it's kind of that hampered our efforts as well. Okay. And then the damage we're talking about, you know, you said Will the Arts was impacted a little bit. Also Andrew Osborne. Now, is there any actual damage? Yeah, so we've we've got multiple incidents. So we actually have the building that burned. Then we've got apartment buildings on either side of the building that burned that were damaged. There's at least from what I know, 10 to 20 cars that burned in the parking lot at the building next door. With the Fine Arts Association with all the debris that was um, airborne, uh, spot fires all over the ground, uh, landscaping. Um, I don't have a damage estimate from the Fine Arts Association or Andrews Osborne yet. But yeah, there was there was flaming debris going everywhere because the building was under construction. Was uh, what type of construction was it? Was it wood? Was it frame? I mean, all, what was it? It's all wood frame construction. So it's what we consider as lightweight construction, um, engineered lumber, plywood, OSB, and when it's involved in fire and there's no way to prevent the fire. So the building was in an early enough stage of construction that the sprinkler systems haven't even been installed yet. We're active, so you've really given the fire everything it wants. It's got plenty of fuel and plenty of heat, so. Right, right now, I mean, you, were, you still have an active scene or something like that. What happened, What are the next steps for you guys? At this point, we're working with the property managers to make sure that the residents that were displaced are back into their apartments as soon as possible. They're our main concern at this point. Uh, there were at least six residents that I know were affected in the apartment building to the east that we had to evacuate, and I believe their goal is to get them all back in by the end of today. Okay. And then I guess that's when also after we're down too, that's when they try to figure out what touched it on. Absolutely. Is there any, um, some of the residents said that they had seen, that there, were, there, there had been firefighters at the scene earlier in the day, like around midnight or something like that. Is that something that happened or it just wasn't true? I don't have any knowledge of that. Yeah, I, some I, videos or something. I can look through the call logs to see if we had any any calls here, but I don't think we were here at this particular site. We might have been at one of the buildings for a fire alarm, one okay. of the occupied okay. buildings. Okay. Yeah, it would have been on like right, right, kind of this <clears throat> side right here. So, okay. Um, you say that the structure was four stories. Four stories. Completed. All it was all framed in. Everything framed. They were working. Um, they were working on the interior at okay. this point. As far as how far they had gotten, I have no idea. And the Red Cross has been helping everybody all board. Red Cross is fantastic. They've been here. They've been uh, providing the, the occupants whatever they need, shelter, uh, as well as our firefighters with, with plenty of uh, food and coffee. And then the people, the these apartments here that have the bird, um, they're fine to live in there, right? Right. Most of the damage that we've seen is to the exterior of the building. Uh, they should be able to reoccupy their, their apartments pretty, pretty quickly if they're not already back now. And there were some cars that were also damaged too, correct? Right? Several. Um, even if you guys want to go down to that side, I'm okay with uh, You might have to drive around. But for one, I've t I haven't even made it over there myself yet. But from what I've been told, there's there are a lot of cars damaging that parking lot too. Yeah. And again, that wind direction changed. I mean, it was blowing the the exact wrong way, but the way it finished was probably the safest. It, wind is never good. When we when we fight fires, wind is never good. But I would say that this was probably the best possible scenario out of out of a horrible scenario. That the wind direction was coming directly out of the north, and it, it kind of blew it right into an open field and not onto these other two right. apartment buildings where we would have had an even worse problem. That's what we were saying all morning. We were like, I was on there, and it, you know, we had the weather people talking about that because we're like, God forbid that happened, these would have been told. Well, our, had a shift, it'd have been a mess. our yeah. police officers, it's like, I can't say enough about our uh, police officers, but one of the things that they did was they started going building to building and pulling the fire alarms and to yeah. get everybody out. And that's, I didn't have enough resources here to even, to even put 
firefighters into those buildings because we were all focused on making sure the buildings didn't catch on fire. The police officers were all stars. They got in, pulled all the fire alarms and started getting occupants, at least, if not out, at least to a part of the building where they were safe. I'll make sure to mention that. Yeah, yeah, thank you. you should be, yeah, because that, that was you. pretty cool. That yeah. was, yeah. Thanks, thank you. You're welcome. We appreciate it. Thanks for doing it. I'm welcome. sorry. That's